सो फाइनली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूनिक रूम इन द कस्टम रूम कम्युनिटी कॉल डिसेंडेंट ओएस इज आउट विद सपोर्टेड एंड्रॉइड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन वी हैव द एंड्रॉइड ट्वेल्व एल सपोर्ट और एंड्रॉइड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन सपोर्ट इट हैज द लेटेस्ट सिक्योरिटी पैच ऑफ कॉर्स फिफ्थ ऑफ एप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू आई एम जस्ट गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट दिस न्यू बिल्ड विच इज अवेलेबल फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ डिवाइसिस लिंक फॉर द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर द बेस्ट चॉइसिस एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली ए कॉल्ड एज वन ऑफ द यूनिक रूम्स आउट देर This is actually unique, and if you want to compare with Dot OS, Corvus OS, or maybe a project or kind and a lot more, I'll try to make a comparison video very soon. By the way, if we take a look at the what's new, which you have as available as an app by default, you have the new features, improvement, bug fixes, and security. All the things which are available, which are new things, which added or improved in this latest update, everything is already written there. So you don't need to find out anywhere else. It's all available in the room, so that might be very helpful for you. And this is the thing. Which you have in this one by default, including then that you have some data dashboard kind of things where you can check out how many times you have unlocked your device, what is your screen time, idle time, interaction time, COVID related things. Absolutely good. This is what you get in this room by default. I haven't applied any kind of tweaks outside so far. I haven't applied any kind of magic module so far, and this is about the this one. By the way, Android OS always has these things, but as it is updated to Android twelve point one, this is this is why we are here to show you about this and. 12.1 latest update it also has one of the unique things called gestures magic which you don't have in any other custom room so far what you have is we have some calls related gestures and media related gestures search call on pick up we have answer call media halting and a lot more things which have by default available in this one so yes this is also one of the unique things about descendant ways or any other custom room whichever has this option is actually unique and yes a lot of unique custom rooms are already out as i just mentioned at the starting of the video i will try to make a comparison video of these custom rooms very soon so stay tuned and this is something new which we have now we have descendant weather app available which looks like this and as you can see how it is finding the location this looks quite interesting something actually unique and yes it was not able to find my location i am not sure the why because maybe i'm outside and my internet connection is not appropriate but yes it is what it is if you move on to the notification section you have the option called notification chips which is something uh, animated notification icon in status bar which is uh, might be a reticker if i'm not wrong it's almost same like reticker other than else things are basically same notification history notification on lock screen sensitive notification and etc almost same kind of things which have in almost all the devices so there are no major changes in that one if we move on to the battery stats we have something different we have two kind of battery usage available which means if you have a view usage for past 24 hours you can use that but if you want to use the view usage from last full charge two kind of battery usage stats are available which is actually quite useful so whichever you would feel comfortable with you can use we also have the extreme battery saver if you need that in some custom rooms we need magic module for that that's already included battery indicator and we have other options available you can't wipe the stats by the way keep this thing in your mind same kind of thing with the sound and vibration which does not include any major changes but we of course have the touch vibration and media related things live caption which mean all the pixel features are already included as expectedly same kind of things available in this one and if we move on to other options Options called a customization accessibility dashboard, which which was introduced in the previous Android 12 update. That looks quite good. They always give you almost monthly updates. So yes, this update might be the first and last in April. So we might see the next update in May. So yes, if you want to install this thing, you can, and you might definitely love this one. Monitor personalization, of course, you have the custom theming available. You also have the option to use the wallpaper color selector. A lot more things are included. Same kind of thing. You can customize the lock screen clock style. stock oxynos sony cupertino all these options are already included as expectedly there are tons of other things available here and there there might be some things which might might i have i might have missed but let me show you something you can see of course android 12.1 is implemented so all the new animations you also have the old tiles which means you can use the normal android 12 style but by default it does not include this one we have this kind of options shapes available we have these option available where you will swipe down for once for only notification second time for full quick settings same kind of thing with data dashboard if you need that you can enable if you don't want that 
can simply disable so some other things are already included this is about the quick settings customizations which you have and as i just mentioned there might be tons of others too which i might not be able to share with you but this looks good this might be very good choice for you you have some lock screen customizations you can customize uh, ambient lights if your device has the ambient display option available if your device has amoled display try out this feature for sure we have some customized options a lot more things are already included this i have already shared with you other than else things are basically same if you move on to the security section you have the face lock you have the fingerprint lock yes if you're able to find no option for app lock unfortunately so as if you need app lock you need to install the custom launcher which i don't have so far so yes keep this in mind app lock is not included but that might not be a major issue for you same kind of thing with move the system option we have the status bar tuner we have the what's new option all these options i have already shared with you gestures almost has same kind of things quick tab we have system System navigation swipe to screenshot which is kind of really useful and some status bar tuner which includes status bar icons which you need in status bar or not let me show you one more thing if i move on to the privacy section here you have the option of fake developer option status which will which will show which will tell the apps that developer options are not enabled if even if you have enabled that and that is quite useful in some cases and legends already know what is this the things i've already shared with you these were things i just want to let you know about this is about descendant os latest version based on android 12.1 go and install this build right now if it is available for year one this is all from today's short and simple video if you like this video don't forget to like and share this i will see you in the next video until then goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through